In this video, we will be discussing the particle nature of electromagnetic radiation. Here, we will learn about the black body radiation and the photoelectric effect. So, let's begin. And if you haven't subscribed our channel, do subscribe our channel and also like our video. In the previous video, we have learned about the wave nature of electromagnetic radiation. The wave nature of electromagnetic radiation explains the phenomena like diffraction and interference, but it fails to explain some other phenomena such as the black body radiation, that is the nature of emission of radiation from hot bodies. Number two is the photoelectric effect, that is the ejection of the electrons from a metal surface when radiation strikes it. And number three is the line spectra of atoms with reference to the hydrogen. So let us first discuss the first phenomena of the particle nature of electromagnetic radiation, that is the black body radiation. Before going into the detailed explanation of the black body radiation, we must know what is a black body. So a black body is an ideal body that emits and absorbs radiation of all the frequencies. The radiations emitted by such a body is known as the black body. Suppose we have an ideal body that can absorb radiations of all frequencies. So the radiations that the body has absorbed are also emitted leaving no radiation left in the body so such bodies are known as the black body radiation so next let us discuss the characteristics of a black body radiation so the first characteristic of a black body radiation is that the frequency distribution of the emitted radiations from a black body depends only on its temperature. So when we increase the temperature, the black body will first turn red and then into blue. So this means that the frequency of the emitted radiation goes from a lower frequency to a higher frequency as the temperature is increased. So here, the red color lies in the lower frequency region whereas the blue color lies in the higher frequency region of the spectrum. The second characteristic is that the radiation intensity at a given temperature increases with the increase in the wavelength then it reaches a maximum and then starts decreasing with the further increase in the wavelength. So we can understand this through a graph. So here in the x axis we have plotted the wavelength and in the y axis we have plotted the radiation intensity. So at a given temperature we can see that there is an increase in the in radiation intensity with the increase in the wavelength then it reaches a maximum point and then again de starts decreasing with the further increase in the wavelength. Similarly, we can take another temperature like T1, which is less than the T2. Here also, the radiation intensity increases with the increase in the wavelength, reaches a maximum point, and then again starts decreasing with the further increase in the wavelength. So now, let us come to the detailed explanation of the black body radiation. The classical physics or the wave theory of light do not satisfactorily explain the phenomena of black body. So the black body radiation was explained. So in 1900, a scientist named Max Planck gave the first explanation for the black body radiation. 
he suggested that an atom or a molecule emits or absorbs energy only in discrete amounts called quantum and it and not in a quant continuous manner so according to planck the molecules or the atoms emits or absorb energy only in discrete amounts that is in packets which was known as quanta so a quantum is a smallest amount of energy that is emitted or absorbed in the form of electromagnetic radiation and the energy of this quantum of radiation is directly proportional to the frequency and it follows that energy of the quantum e is equals to h nu that is e is directly proportional to nu that is the frequency which implies that e is equals to h nu so where e is the energy of the quantum and nu is the frequency and h is known as the planck's constant and it has a value of 6.626 into 10 to the power minus 34 joule second so using the planck's quantum theory that was proposed by planck to explain the black body radiation he was able to explain the intensity distribution of the radiation from a black body which is a function of frequency or wavelength at different temperatures so now let us study the second phenomena of the particle nature of electromagnetic radiation that is the photoelectric effect so in the year 1887 a scientist named H. Hartz performed an experiment in which electrons were ejected when he exposed certain metals to a beam of electron. He called this phenomena as the photoelectric effect. So he observed that there was no time lag between the striking of the beam of the light on the metal and the ejection of the electrons from the surface. So, when a beam of light strikes the metal surface, the ejection, the ejection of the electrons takes place simultaneously from its surface that is there was no delay in the ejection of the electrons from the surface when the beam of light strikes the surface the second observation was that the number of electrons is proportional to the brightness or intensity of light so this means that if the intensity or the brightness of the light is large then the number of electrons ejected will also be very large and if the brightness or intensity of the light is low then the number of electrons ejected will be less and the third characteristic that was observed is that a characteristic minimum frequency or threshold frequency for each metal is present and below that minimum or threshold frequency photoelectric effect is not observed it is only when the threshold frequency of the beam of light It is only when the frequency of the electro of the beam of light 
is above this threshold frequency only then the electrons will be ejected from the metal surface with a certain kinetic energy and this kinetic energy increases with the increase in the frequency of the light. So here you can see that a beam of light is coming and it's striking the metal surface and, and, and the moment it strikes an electron is ejected out. Similarly, another beam of light has come, it strikes the metal surface, then simultaneously an electron is ejected out from the metal surface. So, so there is no time lag or delay in the ejection of the electrons and the striking of the beam of light. Now, let us come to the detailed explanation for the photoelectric effect. So it was in the year 1905 that Einstein used the Planck's quantum theory to explain the photoelectric effect. So according to the Planck's quantum theory, a shining beam of light on the metal surface can be viewed as shooting the metal with a beam of particles or photons. So, when a photon of sufficient energy strikes an electron in the metal, it transfers the energy to the electron immediately and the electron gets ejected without any time lag. So, a more intense beam of light has a larger number of photons and when this intense beam of light strikes the metal surface, a large number of electrons are ejected. So finally, the greater the energy carried by the photon, so the greater will be the kinetic energy of the ejected electron. So which means that the kinetic energy of the ejected electron is proportional to the frequency of the electromagnetic radiation. So this equation gives us the kinetic energy of the e ejected electron that is H nu minus H nu naught is equals to half of m e p square. So here m e is the mass of the electron, v is the velocity associated with the ejected electron, h nu is the energy of the striking photon, h nu naught is the minimum energy required to eject an electron or it is the work function. So H nu naught can be written as W naught which is the work function. So this was all about the two phenomena of the black particle nature of the electromagnetic radiation that is the black body radiation and the photoelectric effect. In the next video we will learn about the line spectra of the atoms.